What's up guys, welcome to your 1200th Android tutorial from I Bring Back with me Travis. And as you guys probably noticed, I skipped a few tutorials in the meantime. I've been pretty busy lately, but I got a few requests for doing ad mobs or ad mob and that's basically adding ads to your application so you can start making money and then also we're gonna kind of do a mini or this is just kind of a mini series called the finishing touches I would play some background music with that but basically we're gonna add ads to our application and then also show you guys how to sign an application for public release because you know it's kinda of difficult there's a lot of tutorials saying uh, stuff about command prompt and getting all that uh, you know somewhat confusing stuff out of the way it's uh, probably gonna be like only five videos something like that to get ads and signing your application to the marketplace so it's not gonna be too bad but I did kinda skip you know eleven hundred and seventy tutorials uh, within this series or whatever so basically uh, I want you guys to go to this website called admob.com and this is basically where we're going to add our ads and get that stuff going. Now you can do this a number of different ways. You guys want to either log in, most likely you need to create a new account, and then go up to this marketplace tab. I'll show you guys both ways for the most part you can decide which way is easier for you. I'm going to have to blur out this stuff because I believe you can't show the stats. I'm not positive. I didn't really feel like reading the terms and conditions. So I'm probably going to blur this stuff out. But there should be a tab right here called Ad Site forward slash app. We're going to click on that and then go to the Android app right here. And then we're going to just say our application name, which is going to be like my bring back the basics, something like that. And then uh, for this Android package URL, you need to do market colon forward slash forward slash details question mark ID equals greater than sign dot com or com the basics dot what is our package name so if you guys forget in clips just open up your source folder and this is our package name um, again we defined that right when we set up our application so it's going to kind of look for that so as you can see it's com dot my bring back dot uh, the basics <clears throat> so I had it messed up royally so again just mark it colon forward slash forward slash details question mark ID equals and then your package name within these two little brackets there and you know pick which type of um, type of app it is for the most part so we're gonna say something like um, is there an education one what oh well we're just gonna say tools for the most part um, example application give it a little de description and this is gonna kinda help ad mob uh, pick you know the right uh, stuff for you for the most part and then what you can do is you can download the ad mob Android SDK right here and uh, save that to the location where you're gonna remember it later or what you can do is I'm gonna test this out because uh, I haven't done it this way yet and it's a little bit more fun so what you can do is go up to your project tab in Eclipse or I'm sorry your window tab Android SDK AVD manager available packages and let me see this is what you're looking for Google ad mobs ads SDK package revision 2 it should be under your available packages under third-party add-ons under the Google tab and it'll be down here I believe again it was called AdMob uh, Ads SDK Package Revision 2 so you guys can download and install it there or again you guys can uh, just download it off this site um, AdMob.com and then I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we're kinda set this up a little bit more and have it referenced in our project so catch you guys then have a good one